brilliant scientist, Anthony Stark, has not even shared with his closest friends, Pepper and Happy, the secret that his mighty bodyguard, Iron Man, is Tony Stark himself. In an enemy land, both names leave bitter tastes. Just by destroying Stark Enterprises, we could cripple their national defense. So you, Professor Benko, the world's greatest expert on electricity, must devise the destruction of Stark's mighty guardian, Iron Man. Stark, he's gone! I don't know how he did it, but he's managed to spirit himself away. I'm in the grip of a powerful space-time continuum. Only a brilliant, a superhuman brain could harness such a power. A Mandarin! Precisely, Stark. A brain such as mine. You used one of your devilish devices to bring me here. But why? Actually, it was Iron Man I saw. Therefore, as his employer, it is only fitting that you take his place. For only once in the past has he dared to threaten me, the Mandarin, with violence against my person. <laughs> Yes, Pepper. Stark, it's terrible. Jack Frost is after you. He's going to turn you into a, an icicle. Now, don't worry about me, honey. You hide until help arrives. I'm calling an Iron Man, understand? Give me that attaché case. Certainly, I will. After I've examined its contents. No! Stop! You mustn't! Wait, don't touch that case! Ah! But the more you protest, the more it whets my curiosity. Uh, uh, gas! He tricked me! Me, the thinker! Tony Stark doesn't have the power to prevail, but Iron Man sure does. The next day, inside of Tony Stark's private office, Iron Man quickly changes into his other identity, while outside the office, Happy? I'm sure I heard someone moving in Mr. Stark's office. It couldn't be Mr. Stark. But maybe Iron Man has returned. Let's go in and find out. Oh, it, it's Mr. Stark. Holy cow, boss. It's really you. We thought you were dead. Dead? Now whatever gave you that idea?